My dear P5 learners, welcome back to this online program where we bring you lessons live in your sitting room. My name is Mr. Mugisha Emmanuel. We have been handling whole numbers, whereby we looked at formation of numbers, we wrote those numbers in expanded form, we looked at place values of whole numbers, and we also looked at how we can write expanded numbers in short. That was our previous lesson. So before I take you into today's lesson, allow me make a quick review of what we looked at in our previous lesson. So if you have been given a number which has been expanded, for example, we have some numbers here which have been expanded using powers of 10. And I told you powers of 10 are, are the same as exponents. And I have told you to write in short. What do you do? For example, write the following in short. A, 4 times 10 to the power 3 plus 6 times 10 to the power 2 plus 7 times 10 to the power 0. What do we do in this case if I want you to write a single number which represents this? A, it is 4 times 10 to the power 3. Then plus 6 times 10 to power 2 plus 7 times 10 to power 0. I want a single number for this. So I told you that expand this one further. 4 times 10 to power 3 means you are multiplying 10 by itself 3 times. So times 10 times 10 times 10. Then plus 6. 10 to power 2 means you are multiplying 10 by itself 2 times. So times 10 times 10. Then we have 7 times. Do you remember this? We told you that any number to power 0 is 1. So 10 to power 0 will give us 1. Okay? We are looking for a single number. 4 times 10, we get 40. Times 10, 400. Times 10, we get 4,000. Plus... 6 times 10, 10, times 10, sorry, 6 times 10, 60, times 10, we are getting 600. Then plus 7 times 1, any number times 1 is that number. So 7 times 1, you get 7. After getting this one, is this a single number? No. Arrange vertically and add. So on my side work here, which I can call a part of working, we shall have 4,000. Then we add on 600, then plus 7, okay? We add. What do we get? 0 plus 0 plus 7, 7. 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 6, we are getting 6. 4 plus nothing, we are getting 4. So the answer here is 4,607. So the single number for the expanded number in that case is 4,607. What about B? If I have 9 times 10 to the power 4 plus 6 times 10 to the power 2 plus 5 times 10 to the power 1, then finally 9 times 10 to the power 0. What is this one going to give you? 9 times 10. 10 multiplied by itself how many times? 4 times. Times 10 times 10 times 10, times 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. Brackets. Plus, 6 times, how many 10 is 2? Times 10, times 10. Plus, 5 times, any number to power 1 is that number, so times 10. Then finally, 9 times, any number to power 0 is 1. Okay? Huh, what is this one going to give us? 9 times 9, 9 times 10, we get 90. Times 10, 900 times 10, 9,000 times 10, 90,000. Plus, 6 times 10, 60 times 10, we are getting 600. Plus, 5 times 10, we are getting 50. 9 times 1, we are getting 9. After getting this, what do we do? Arrange vertically and add. 90,000. Add there, 600. 0, 0, 6. Add there 50. Then finally, 9. We are adding. 
0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 9, we are getting 9. 0 plus 0 plus 5, we are getting 5. 0 plus 6, we are getting 6. And 0 plus nothing, we are getting 0. 9 plus nothing, we are getting 9. Therefore, our answer in this case is going to be 90,659 as our answer. Therefore, the number which has been expanded to give that one is 90,659. My dear learners, in today's lesson, we are going to look at another interesting subtopic, that is writing figures in words. Writing figures in words. So, if you have been given figures to write in words, what do you do? Guys, it's very simple. So, write the following. In words. Okay? Write the following in words. Okay? Example one. If I give you this, can you write this one in words? I think you can. And if you can't, I am going to teach you in today's lesson. I don't know whether you have ever seen commas in a number. And do you know how those numbers are put in a, in a given figure? If you don't know, this is how we put commas. From your right, you count three figures, then you put a comma. Three figures, you put a comma. So we shall have one, two, three, then we put a comma. If we have another group of three, you count one, two, three, you put a comma. So you can put as many commas as possible given the number. So, this comma is very important. It is not put there just for formality. So, it means I have this three and this one, separated by this comma. So, I am going to have this, which I can call the place value holder, whereby this side I will put these three digits. That is 7, 8, 9. Then this way, we are having only one digit, which is 6. Okay, I have drawn this one where we have this comma. So, the first three are in units. And the next category is in thousands. Now, in each category, this one we have ones, tens, hundreds. Even in this one we have ones, tens, hundreds. But here we have nothing, nothing, nothing. So when I'm reading, I don't need to read anything here. So, forget all about this. How do we read this one? Only this. This one is six. But how do we read this one? It is in the place value of thousand. So we shall read six thousand. Then how do we read this one? This one is seven hundred. Then 89. So the whole number will be 6,789. 6,789. Then 80. 89. Okay? So here I have written my number. Oh, my friend there is there saying, teacher, you are giving us P4 work. Yeah. We have to begin from simple to complex. So, can we have another example? We have 9999999. Oh, somebody's there screaming. A teacher has given us a big number, yes. So we are going to put commas. One, two, three. We put a comma. One, two, three. But because I don't have another digit this way, so it means I have this. So when I'm dividing my number, I will have to draw this line here in the middle where we have a comma. So we shall have this. 
whereby we have units on this side, and on this side we have 1,000. Okay? So the first three digits should be, be put under units. 9, 9, 9. Then these three should also be put under 1,000. 9, 9, 9. From the beginning I have told you that in this we have ones, tens, hundreds. In this we also have the same. Ones, tens, hundreds. So, forgetting all about this, how do we read this one? 999. What about this one? 999. But the difference between this and this is that after reading 99 here, you must mention the place value here. Therefore, it becomes 999,999. You see? It becomes 999,999. So we shall have 900. 999,999. Nine. Now, the not the spelling of the word 90. It is 9, then a T-Y, 90. That word normally disturb many of you. So what have we got as our answer? We have got 999,999. Let's have another example. Let's have another example. Yes, my friend, give me another example. Uh -huh. Yes, he's saying four, zero, four, zero, four, zero. Wow, that's great. So we are going to put commas. So do you count three? One, two, three, we put a comma. One, two, three, don't have a digit here. So we are going to divide from here. So on this side we have units, then on this side we have thousand. Okay? So under units we have zero, four, zero. Under thousands we have four, zero, four. But I told you that under units we have ones, tens, hundreds. Under thousands we have ones, tens, hundreds. So if I told you to read what is under units alone, how do you read this? It becomes what? 40. What about under thousands alone? 400? 4. But the difference between what is here and this one is that after reading this one, you mention the place value on the top, then you read this one as usual. So this one will be 400, 4,000, 40. 400, 4,000, 40. 400, 4,000, 4, then 40. The spelling of 40 also gains very many. It is F O R T Y. Have you seen the spelling of 40? F-O-R-T-Y, 40. Therefore, my answer becomes 404,040. See? Another example, which may probably be the second last. Is it a must that we must have units and thousands only? No. We may have a number bigger than this. So, can we have this number here? We have uh, 4, 9, 0, 8, 3, 1, 2. OK? 
Eh? Oh, this number looks big, but it is very simple when it comes to writing it in words. So where we have a comma, it's where we shall draw these lines. So in this case, we shall have units here. Then this one is in the thousands. But here we also have some numbers. And what we have here is in the millions. Okay? This one is in the millions. Under each category, you must have ones, tens, hundreds. Even here, you must have ones, tens, hundreds. Even here, you must have ones, tens, and hundreds. Okay? So, the last three, one, three, one, two. What about here? Nine, zero, eight. Then this one, we have to go to millions here. Oh, look here. How do we read this one? 312. What about this one? 908. What about this one? Four. So how do we read the whole number? Four million nine hundred eight thousand three hundred twelve. What is it? Under millions, we have four million nine hundred eight thousand three hundred twelve. So we shall have four million. Don't say millions, even if they are 10, they remain millions. So you say 4 million. 4 million, 900, then 8, then before you go away, 1,000, 1,000. Thousand, then three hundred, then twelve. See? So the whole number becomes four million nine hundred. 8,312. That one will be our answer. You can create as many numbers as possible. We can even have a number in billions, but that one is beyond you. But, you know, these days we have very intelligent children. So, can I just put one number in billions somewhere there so that if, for example, there is a quiz, we normally take you for a national quiz at Makere University, they ask you such, at least you have knowledge about it. So I have 999 Then I have maybe 410. Who is that one screaming that the number is too big? It's not too big. It's not too big. What is important is you to know how you are going to draw these lines. And I've told you draw them where we have commas. So we shall have this, 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 okay? Then on our extreme end, we have units. Then what do we have here? Thousands. What about here? Millions. And from millions, we go to billions. Wonderful. But under each category, we have ones, tens, hundreds. Ones, tens, hundreds. Ones, tens, hundreds. Ones, tens, hundreds. Okay? So let's first practice how to read from each category. This one is 410. What about this one? 990. What about this one? 990. What about this one? 99. So when we are reading here, it is going to be 99 billion. 990 million, 990,410. Have you seen how interesting it has been? 
Thank you so much for being good runners. I'm going to give you an activity, please. Sit down, do that activity so well, and the next time when I come, actually I'm going to come with stickers. If you get all my numbers right, I'm going to put stickers, flying stickers. I'll be at school and put stickers in your books at home. Have you seen what Corona has created? So enjoyable. Can you imagine I'm at school and I put stickers in your home? Uh, in your books at home? So wonderful. Thank you so much. Have a nice time.